Shout out to EA Sports for flying me down to Orlando and allowing me to capture some early Madden 18 gameplay, including this ultimate team game against I Maverick. As we start off with the ball, unsure whether to return it out the end zone or not, and we got to because we already crossed the line and we take it out with Falk and we actually get to the 20 yard line. So that was a little crisis averted right there. That could have been a lot worse as we come out on offense running with Aaron Rodgers. A lot of green grass to take off, and Rodgers is brought down on third gain of 19 yards. Next play, we go back to the play action. It worked before, so why not try it again to Beckham in double coverage? And that is definitely intercepted by Chris Harris Jr. I, I really don't know what I was trying to do on that play. That was, that was bad on like 20 different levels. It was double coverage. It was on the run. I really don't know what I was trying to do there, but we'll come out on defense a second down and try to get a stop. He's also got Aaron Rodgers with a ton of time and patiently waiting to find his man Julio Jones in the corner gets the catch. Next play, Rodgers looking to throw again. Once again, well protected and finding the open man, Rob Gronkowski. He's making quick work of our defense already at the 11, trying to break us second attempt but one does not simply shake jj watt that is going to be a loss of seven next play throwing and intercepted by luke keekly who breaks the tackle and keekly finally wrapped up by fuck you'll notice that we have a lot of the same players because we were playing mutt and we were pretty much given all the best base cards in the game so we got a lot of the great elites out there like even the fullbacks like juice Jake, who just got a catch downfield that was a big play by the way as he's got a bunch of holes on the defensive end well we had fuck downfield but we were and we actually found a guy open even more downfield. He's running a lot of this man coverage right now. We're just torching it. We find Beckham and we are making quick work of his defense as that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. It is third down in inches and we are running the football with David Johnson and not getting the first down. Fourth down and one going for it. Field goal unit stays on the sidelines instead. Aaron Rodgers comes out and throws an incompletion. Tight coverage forces the throw out of bounds and a turnover on downs. And he comes back on the field running the football with Marshall. Fuck and fuck is just breaking free, showing off why he's the best running back in the game today. Marshall Falk with a big touchdown run. If you're starting off your Mutt team for Madden 18, Marshall Falk is the guy to get right now. I'm sure they'll come out with better running backs in due time, but Falk is just he's the fastest running back out there with 90 speed. He's the most elusive running back out there, it feels like. And that is a deadly combination that you cannot really stop. You just got to hope you contain it. And we didn't do a good job on that drive as we have David Johnson. I decided to change up the running back position a little bit and give David Johnson some love rather than just throwing Marshall Falk on the field every single play. But otherwise, you know, we got a lot of the best players out there. Is David Johnson running and not really getting too, too much. He's going to bring up a third down and four. Once again, we're struggling a little bit in these third down situations. But this time, we are able to convert to Odell Beckham Jr., who I believe was man up on Luke Keekley. And that's an absolute mismatch as we continue to run the ball with David Johnson. He's coming out with three down linemen, so I really want to attack that and run the ball as much as we can. Second down, though. Going to take off with Aaron Rodgers. Swerving one defender and just sliding down at the 15-yard line, trying to tie this game up with under a minute to go in the first half. Running outside with Rodgers. Wide open lane and A-Rod in for the TD. You guys know Rodgers, you know, you can't sleep on that man. At a certain point, you have to put out a quarterback spy. And at a certain point, we're also going to have to try to stop Marshall Falk. But he is coming out, passing the ball with Rodgers. And the theme of this thing is a lot of time to throw the football. But eventually, you got to make a read. Or else, Quill Mack, J.J. Watt, Aaron Donald, all those guys will be coming at your neck. Second down and super long. Just taking a shot. 21 seconds left at DRC. But... DRC is a lockdown corner, all right? So one-on-one -on -one coverage, I trust him out there. And on third down and 21, he doesn't really trust DRC to cover him. He takes a shot at DRC again. And Dominic Rogers Camardi is all over that. Even though it's Chris Carter, you know, we're able to shut it down. And on fourth down, he punts the ball, which is six seconds left in the half. Smart decision there, because I know Matt doesn't like to punt the football, but... You know, there's some situations where you got to bring it out. Is David Johnson trying to reverse fields? And Johnson going to get lit up on the last play of the first half. And he gets the ball coming out of halftime. So that's a big development in this game because that allows him to set the tempo in the second half. The first half was a little bit sloppy. No one really grabbed momentum. You know, there was a couple of key standout points like that big Marshall Falk touchdown run that he had. And... Our ability to roll out with Aaron Rodgers as he continues to run the ball with Marshall Falk. And he's starting to figure out something that he likes. 
and that is number 28. Now, like I mentioned, Marshall Falk, the most deadly running back out there, so why not give him a third carry? But eventually, we sniff it out, and we're going to try to force him to pass this ball. But he says, nah, I'm going to keep on running. I don't care if it's Marshall, if it's Le'Veon Bell, I'm going to continue running. But eventually, force his hand. He comes out throwing, but he throws it to Marshall Falk anyways. Throws a screen pass and gets the first down. He's putting together a very nice drive right now in field goal range, trying to get that touchdown to give him a full seven-point lead, 120 yards on the ground, then trying to get some more with Marshall Falk got the edge and taking down a goal to go situation a fullback dive though that's not really going to go anywhere I feel good about our goal line defense though as long as we can contain Marshall Falk which we're not really doing a good job of right now but this is a huge third down and two he runs hurry up and runs it again with Falk look at those blocks Marshall Falk in the end zone and he gets a seven point lead as we run with our Marshall Falk I, I feel just very violated by the way he just ran downfield with Marshall Fox. I want to give him the same treatment with David Johnson and our own Marshall Fox. But right now, we only got eight rushes for 25 yards. He's doing a good job of shutting that down. So we got to go to the air and take care of business with Aaron Rodgers, Antonio Brown, and the gang as we start the fourth quarter with Rodgers. Well protected. Trying to find Julio right there, but Julio not able to get that catch in traffic. Second down and 10. Aaron Rodgers running into his own lineman, getting tripped, and Rodgers is going to get taken down. A Goofy little play. Fortunately, Munoz wasn't really paying attention right there. And that's going to bring up a third down and 20. Will we actually convert for the first down? Huge play right there because it was pretty much four down territory territory at that point. It's still four down territory. Down a touchdown with 247 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Aaron Rodgers, one more time, going to leave the pocket, continuing to make him pay. You can leave the pocket with these quarterbacks a lot in Madden 18 as we hit David Johnson out the backfield. And David Johnson gets a gain of five yards. Last play for the two-minute warning, potentially. And that's intercepted. Keekly sit Actually, that's Sean Lee sitting on that one in the middle of the... The field and a huge turnover gives Mad the football and gives Marshall Falk a chance to bully our defense and Marshall Falk is going to take that opportunity and run with it. Falk has got the speed to outrun our defense and he's gonna celebrate his way in the end zone 21 to 7 a key couple of plays. The interception I just, you know, made a bad read on that play pre-snap. I thought it was an all-out blitz. He put a couple guys in coverage. I threw a quick slant, got intercepted and then you see, he's just continuing to run the ball with Marshall Falk as we hit him with David Johnson right away. The, the action is picking up very quickly in this game as David Johnson gets the touchdown. And it's far from over. We're not giving up. We don't quit, all right? We don't just lay down and give our opponent the victory, all right? We're going to fight until the very last second. We're going to make Mav earn this victory. And we're going to make sure it's not Marshall Falk. We got to contain this guy at some point on first down. He's going to what continue to work, but we know what he wants to do. He wants to run the stretch play. We're going to take that away from him. He runs two clock. We don't call a timeout. He goes back to the ground, but once again, we got to contain. And now this is a big third down, and we can get this stop. We get the football back and a chance to try to tie this game up as Marshall Falk with the spin move for the move. Woo! Marshall Falk still going. Falk absolutely destroys the defense. Touchdown on the play. Sliding in. Matt with the stick work. Pretty much gonna shut this game down and shut the building down. Marshall Falk. Wow. If I felt violated before, imagine how I feel right now after that play. Just, that was a soul-crushing play. Even though there's still time on the clock, I'm still trying to recover from that one, man. That was just... You know, that's just really good. Even though it happened to me, I'm really glad that's in the game. The fact that you can make those moves in this game because at Man 17, the juke moves, the spin moves are all so stiff. This here... You know, if you got stick where you can make big time plays, second down and 10, we're trying to make a play in the air with Rodgers trying to preserve what little chance we have of making a comeback, but that is all gone right now. That is definitely Luke Keekly. Who gets the interception? At this point of the game, Marshall Falk has gone over 300 yards, all right? And Falk trying to get one more carry, not going to get much on the play. And Mav, the, the savage that he is, I think he actually called a timeout to run one more play. But that is going to be the final play. He ends up getting the victory. Falk goes for 307. And yeah, good game to Mav. I basically ran nickel defense, daring him to run the ball. And man, he took my dare and then some. So we're we'll going to video if you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe for more Man 18 gameplay. We got a ton more on the way. And I'll catch you guys next time.